An effort to make it easier to build thousands of housing units in Burlington will be in front of city councilors in the coming weeks. Catherine Huntley learned about the plan and what it would take to make it happen. She's live in Burlington now. What do you know? Well, the idea is to allow property owners to build infill housing or housing on lots that have space within existing neighborhoods in the city, like where we are right now. But in order to do that, it would require a massive zoning change. Burlington's housing vacancy rate hovers at a paltry 1% or lower. With housing prices going up, the city wants to give property owners or buyers a chance to build within neighborhoods. This city needs to grow, so we, we're either prepared for it or we're not. Um, we need to increase our tax base. Councillor Milo Grant is one of the many councillors supportive of the idea to build more housing in neighborhoods. Neighborhood code would upzone the entire city and allow property owners to add units that could look like duplexes or even small buildings with apartments on lots within neighborhoods. If people don't want to sell their property, they don't have to sell their property. If they don't want to develop their property, they don't have to develop their property. There's nothing in this that says that you must do this. It's just saying if you choose to, here's what you can do. Grant believes that there should be a more uniform density for how much housing could be built across the city, that all neighborhoods should bear the responsibility of adding to the housing stock. However, some residents of a neighborhood near the University of Vermont are asking for a lower density increase because they worry that the only new residents will be college students in college housing. It's my concern that um, we haven't taken into consideration what a vibrant um, downtown neighborhoods should look like. And so there are some historic neighborhoods that are filled with a mix of interesting um, residents. And I believe that mix is important. East District Councilor Tim Doherty, who represents UVM neighborhoods, says the neighborhoods near UVM will increase housing under this proposal. But there should be some considerations for a lower density than other parts of the city for a neighborhood that's already been segmented by a, by a plethora of student housing and landlords buying up and taking away permanent housing for renters. The goals of the neighborhood code is to really examine carefully each individual neighborhood, each individual section of the city, look at the opportunities, the challenges, the pressures uh, of each, uh, each part of the city um, and adjust the zoning rules accordingly. Now, the impact of an increase of UVM students in existing neighborhoods is something that's currently being discussed between the city and the school. There is an ongoing MOU discussion negotiating how the city can preserve more housing for permanent residents. City Council is expected to next take up this neighborhood code zoning issue on March 25th. Live in Burlington, Catherine Huntley, Channel 3 News.